across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon and Great, and we are the most high Yahweh chosen people, the nation of Israel. All right. Um, you know, it's without further ado, as always, in ancient Hebrew tongue, we want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to our power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is God of the living, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash, meaning all praise to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten and anointed an Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, whom is our strength and our redeemer and our light and our salvation. All right. And in ancient Hebrew tongue, I also want to say, Mashana Kabwadim Lahasakwanim, Shah Gadab Rakab, many double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, true shepherds of Israel, along with the like minded Sequani, while I came across the four corners of the earth, pushing in sound action and faith, choose sincerity. All right. And Shalom, my honest salutations to by Yah, Shed out without the house of David, representing the 144,000 elect governing body of the house of David, along with the rest of the one third elect men and women and children of Israel. All right. All right. And, um, so the uh, the Akion from the El Paso branch once again, or from the El Paso, Texas camp. All right, uh, within this week's uh, midweek live form edition. Okay, um, include myself, uh, Malak Rayab, and uh, uh, my brother Mawati Wadawan from the camp. And uh, we're gonna go through, um, you know, some uh, just some just some random topics, man, within this this uh, midweek form of uh, secular 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 events uh, filtered through biblical prophecy. You know, further confirm that we are at the end of Esau, Edom's rulership, the self-claimed white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, and the, in the beginning of our rulership, our everlasting rest. Okay, so uh, go ahead, Doc. All right, this is the book of Psalms 49 and 11. It says, the inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever in the dwelling places to all generation. They call right. their land after their own names, and we know who we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay? Uh, who right now is get the whole world duped into thinking that there's no end of this wicked kingdom. All of the things that they put in place here, this 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 um, process of continuity, okay, of wickedness, okay, is get all the people beguiled on this earth. Because you know Esau, from a long time ago, already set himself as what the god of this earth. Okay, he can heal, he can do all these different things here. He can save the world from an alien space attack. You know, he's putting this Hollywood movies. And he's trying to convince the world right now that, you know what, this is just a little squabble we have here out there in Eastern Europe. Okay, it's not going to amount to World War Three. although, you know, Trump, you know, came on and said, well, we're going to go into World War Three because he wants to get that kind of support going like that. And they think this is kind of like that, um, what, what, how do you want to call it, those reality show. Well, here's a reality show. There's going to be a World War Three. The house shot Mashiach is going to come back and put you down. You are going to go into one year, uh, 1,000 years of high cost slavery, okay, and the prophets... Okay, and likewise, brothers, okay, on the highway in the Bible, crying out to Yahweh Shai Mashiach to end this crap that we live in, okay, this hellhole, okay, is going to hear our cries, okay, and put you and put you in a whole lot of trouble, okay? You're going to be in great division, right? Uh? That's right. All right. You know, because um, this thing is brewing up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and land back on that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen, uh, temporarily share the screen, bring out these precepts. Whatever precepts you got, I'm just going to go ahead and just fire them off and I'll just read them. I read them through uh through uh, um the blue letter. All right, so um so I'm going to uh, sh temporarily share the screen. All right, bring out this uh, precept, Second Thessalonians two and three, and it reads, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there coming a falling away first, and then man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, and we mean the destruction. And that's Esau Edom, who was created to remove peace from the earth with his sword, his blessing, man. Okay, you know." And this is why, um, you know, and this is why, uh, this also is why America, Babylon the Great, is a wicked carbon castle of the entire earth through the military industrial complex that is being further depreciated in military value and progress for the fact that they're losing their morale, you know, not morale, but they're losing their, uh, they're losing their, their stability, okay, um, geopolitically, okay, geoeconomically, militarily, for the fact that you got uh, North Korea, uh, Iran, okay, with your top allies of uh, Russia, and China all threatening America uh, and NATO forces to be destroyed. Why? Because the man of sin, okay, has been revealed. Esau, Esau, Edom. Verse four: Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, shooting himself that he is God. You see, and this is why during the Renaissance period he uh, quote unquote whitewashed the images of the ancient judges, the Lord, and uh, the saints. You know. To appear to be, uh, you know, uh, pale, leprous individuals. So that way, when people think of the Lord, they think they subconsciously think of the self-proclaimed white man. 
okay? So, you know, justifying wickedness, you know? So this is the devil, okay, you know, uh, that has set himself up to be worshipped, mainly through the, the MOT to the B, which is the chip, by, um, you know, integrating, you know, the chip, you know, with, with human beings, man. You know, fusing man with the machine, part of the technocracy of their fourth industrial revolution. So that's the next major prophecy that's come to pass before these nukes start flying, man. And we're getting closer and closer by one of these end signs um, showcasing that we are at the end of the devil's rulership in the beginning of ours, you know, including this recent report down here in West Texas in Houston, where the Houston government has required that people ship their animals, you know, their pets, or, or else face a $1,000 fine. So because this devil, this part is devil looking to play God on earth. So you it down to verse 8, and then shall the wicked be revealed from the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, and that, that brightness is his uh, wisdom. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, including these rumors of wars that we keep hearing about. And with all the deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And, and, and save is a prefix of salvation, which is only for Israel. So that means that what? Okay, uh, the masses, the vast majority will be destroyed, including those who take the chip, the mark of the beast, and only the elect will be saved in these last days. And this is who we do these uh, epistles for. And for this cause, the Most High God, Yahweh, shall send him strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Okay? And that's Esau's wine. It's Western philosophy, man. You see? This is what we got going on here. Okay? This devil looking to, you know, put the, you know, the, the final touches on this satanic council, man. But it's going to fail because it's wicked. Okay? If you got it up. Yeah. You know, and this is when you go into the book of Proverbs 18. And Psalm so verse 11, it says, the rich man's wealth is his strong city and has a high wall in its own conceit. Before destruction, the heart of the of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. <laughs> okay, you can't find a more haughtier person than who? Esau. Now, when you go back into verse 11, it says the rich man's wealth is a strong city. Now, interesting enough, they just thought, they just said, uh, and I just saw that I just saw in the news today, roughly around 80,000 to 100,000 people lost their job in just yeah. January alone. Here's the deal. The same company that laid off the people, their stock actually went up, all went up by 5 to 10%. Google stock went up today by 10%. Okay? So did Amazon and so did all these other companies. Because again, when you have these wicked and rule, okay, the easy way that, that, that Esau takes care of, of, of business and who's impacted by this? The poor, okay? Or the working class peasants, okay? And yes, that includes you doggone Edomites out there who think you know, who've always had the, the, the pleasure of looking down on us, okay? Yasharala, so-called Black Native American Latinos. Right now, you are not a victim of your own wicked, doggone, demonic, satanic um, 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 prince, okay? And they're the ones that are causing this because they, they, they're leading, as the act said earlier, into that new world order. And part of, that, part of that to get there is you have to believe that there's something wrong with the way things is going right now. Destroying the food, okay? saying that there's too much carbon 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 dioxide in the atmosphere okay so you have this carbon printing and you know you want to feed people 3d food printed food okay and also you have this proxy war which is actually being fought by these they want this wicked queendom over there okay and you have the Medes over there they've already figured this out okay so we're right now in that time bomb stage right now where it's about to explode and go off okay and this man can brag about it because what the wealth of this man is, is is backed by what? Absolutely not a damn thing except his dog on bullshit uh, 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 hoardiness, okay? But uh, That's right. And that's right. And land back on what you're saying, I'm going to go ahead and re-enable the, the, the screen sharing, bring out some here, um, and back it up with a precept. All right, so this is on uh, back on Twitter. There's a report that came out that uh, these, that, that these are about part of the layoffs in 2023. Including 7% of PayPal employees, 10% of FedEx management, 6% of Rivian employees, 3,900 IBM employees, 6% of uh, Spotify employees, and of course, 10,000 Microsoft employees. Okay, because these, these major tech companies such as Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, for to account for um, that the vibration of this technocracy they're pushing out there. All right, and this is why um, Elon Musk, you know what I'm saying, had a, uh, you know, Elon Musk had um you know uh what do you call it you know elon musk had uh you know bought twitter case in point for like you know over a trillion dollars or whatever case may be 
and they try to act, they try to, they, they try to, you know, make it seem, I think, oh, hold on, I think we lost a brother with me, me, uh, can you hear me out? Yeah, I can hear you. No. So, yeah, so, um, so, um, so, yeah, that's why uh, Elon Musk had purchased Twitter, okay, because they have a plan of, of uh, using these, these, uh, major tech companies and so forth and platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and so forth to store people's uh, personal data. That's why all these people posting out and posting up their live stories on there is very foolish and unwise. You know, even though Esau, you know, you know he, he already knows who we are anyway, through our social security numbers and IP address and so forth. These people are just further aiding into enhancing their AI. Yeah, because what you're looking at is a feeling on the emotion, okay? Yeah. And these will actually... You know, uh, actually, you know, as good as Esau will kind of make you think that they know a lot about you, believe it or not, they actually really don't. And I can tell you that from the people that they allow to come into the military and give, and give security clearance to, uh, they really don't do a good job of really doing a true background check on these guys. Let's go into the book of 2nd Ezra 16 and 1 to 5, because, you know, for you other nations that are trapped here, that are here in Great Babylon America, that has uh, been enjoying yourself and actually sat at the sea, you know, uh, at the UN, okay, with this man, you know, uh, developing those crafty concepts against us, here's, here's, what's, here's, here's what's coming for you. This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16, Psalm verse 1, it says, woe, to, woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. <laughs> well, why did they say Asia? Who's the seller? Who's, other than Esau, the Edomite, who's actually really the next proudest creation? Moab, okay? Moab, those Moabites, okay? And it says, woe unto thee, Egypt and Syria, Gird up yourselves with a cloth of sacks and hear, bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction at hand. So yes, this is going to take place up in the Middle East. Okay, those if you the the um, now the pet you have a, something called the petrol dollar, which was you know what they use okay to buy all this oil and all the other different stuff. You got Saudi Arabia saying, hey, we want to do away with that and use our own currency or use or have the other countries use currency. Well, what they don't tell you is that there's Saudi Arabia has been paying the United States a couple billion dollars a year for protection. Okay, it's the same thing with Kuwait. Okay, so do you think that Esau is just suddenly going to allow its petrol dollar to just fall just like that to a country that they could wipe out just like that? That's been friendly with them? Absolutely not. Okay, so yeah, they're going to get you're going to get you you you, uh, you you're going to get a piece of this action too. And it says a sword is set sent upon you, and who may turn it back? If I sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you. And what a seed that may drive them away. Now, I've been to Dubai. Man, this is the cleanest place I've ever been to in my life, next to probably Tokyo, okay? And these people over there, they carry themselves exactly like, you know, basically, if you stand up in line and some and, 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 and a, a, a citizen of the U, UAE, okay, United Arab Emirates, come in line, you have to actually back off and let them go front. They can walk in the front of the line or in, in front of a thousand people. Because that, that's just how it works over there. And they import all their people as, uh, I call them basically slaves from all over the, all over the world. You know, particularly those um, Asia minor countries, you know, like the Philippines and India and those places um, to do the work. And these people worship these people like they're going like they're gods, man. It's, 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 it's ridiculous of how, how high and hearty these people are. But what they have to understand right there, I just read to you that the Lord is going to bring you down, okay. You, you people are gonna have your barrios. You're gonna you you your you, you great Dubai. Those skyscrapers, they're coming down, okay. World War Three is not gonna spare any of you damn wicked ass crafty nations that has that has that has been uh, against us, okay, uh, and, and and having us in derision, okay. Knowing who we are and hiding our identity. Go ahead, uh. All right, right. You know, and uh, real quick, reshare the screen. Um. And uh, bring out this precept in uh, Isaiah chapter 14. Start at verse um, 4. Okay, and it reads That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, which is Esau Edom currently, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased, and the golden city is America, man. Okay, symbolic of what? Prosperity. That's why all these nations want to come over here and, uh, you know, and uh, partake in the delicacies of the great whore, Babylon the Great, America, you know, through international trade and, you know, their um, their military treaties and whatnot, 
you know, because America is uh, the vocal point of, of all, you know, commerce, you know, all global commerce and consumerism and whatnot. You see, to where. All right, so this is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse uh, verse 5. The Lord Yahweh had broken his staff for the wicked and accepted the rulers. All right. Symbolic of the rulership of Esau Edom, man. That's why he he is a, the rulers of the darkness of this world, ruling through his wine, his his uh, Western philosophy. Okay, on behalf of his democracy, his bureaucracy, you know, his diplomacy, his military industrial complex, his technocracy, his science, his politics. You see, and this is the wine that is that is that has caused the, the nations to be mad at him, man. To be in that 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 maddening state of mind in a frenzy. You know, percent of Jeremiah the fifty first chapter. Okay, especially on behalf of uh, the, 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 these provoked geoeconomical tactics, you know, of, of uh, that they're using to the further wage war on the sovereign enemies of America and NATO. All right, and this is why these nukes this is why we're hearing these rumors of wars further to intensify, man. Why these nations are threatening America, NATO to, uh, to be destroyed, and this is part of uh, the wine of Babylon, part of the bondage of modern day Egypt, which is America, Babylon, a great okay um, failing. To where, uh, you know, America, Babylon, the Great, the make the wicked carving cast of these Edomites, has become that laughing stock, man, that gazing stock, that reproach. To where no one fears the self-proclaimed white man anymore. That's why they're blatantly, you know, blatantly threatening and you know, all threatening with thermonuclear destruction. This is verse six. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. All right, and this devil's been, you know, uh, ruling, you know. Uh, you know, smiting people in wrath with a continuous stroke of his sword, man. You know, ruling over them in great anger by way of this great sword, persecuting them. Okay. And that's why he, that's why, you know, he's not going to hinder in terms of judgment coming to his ass, man. And that's why he's speeding up, you know, this is why he's speeding up, uh, um, you know, his agenda because the Heavenly Father has been doing that. Else he would destroy all of the earth. Okay, you know, you know, by you know, purposely depleting and exacerbating the, the world's supply of resources, which you know, through these these uh, food processing plants, mysteriously burning up. Most recent, a farm plant down there, uh, rather the uh, egg farming plant down there in uh, Bosworth, Connecticut, burning up on fire, mysteriously. These energy grids being compromised, including being shot at. You know. You know, his, his bioengineering uh, uh, devices, okay, that, he, that he's destroying these crops and so forth with, so he could further justify implementing, you know, uh, uh, this uh, satanic New World Order agenda through the chip, the, the Karagma, M-O-T to the B. You see, and the way in which he's going about it is going to get America destroyed and, and millions upon millions of people, okay, you know, uh, across the world, all right? And, 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 and that's going to lead, what, to these flying swords, all right, pursuing Isaiah the 34th chapter flying, man. This is, we, this is why we keep hearing about these rumors of wars and so forth. All right, you got it, Doc. All right, Khan. This is the book of Psalms 31 and verse 18, and it reads, Let the lying lips be put to silence, which be grievous things, proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Now, when you talk about the lying lips of this man, Okay, now we know that this man is going to try to demonize us. We know this man is coming up against us. You know, he called us blacks. He called us African Americans. He called us a whole lot of different things. You know, gave us this phony history of who we are. You know, coming from Africa, and you know, our people are still over in Africa, and all this other craziness. But a grievous one here you can think of, okay, is uh, this man right now. Okay, he's he's claiming that the the sea. It's ending, okay? Now, this thing was, was supposed to be so bad just two years ago that the whole world basically paused so that this man can get out there and, you know, force everybody basically on a threat, you know, to do the jump shot. But now, all of a sudden in May, that's, it's the end. It's the official end, okay, of this. But yet still, so what this is leading to is that those, um, Freebies and those like help that it was giving to the poor, us, okay, is now going to end. See how people now are starting to, you know, see people now are starting, the wise is seeing exactly how this is going. So if there was such a, a, a such a contagion that was going on, how is it that you can just come and just announce it ends? 
And at the same time, you're going to earn all of the benefits that you were giving to your citizens. So he's lying. He was lying then. He's lying right now again. You know what, Ark? If you also go back, uh, uh, Ark, and I know, yeah, this it ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Uh, if you go back into uh, 20, uh, was it 2003, when George Bush uh, Jr. was president, he was in the back of a, of a, of a F-15, and they land on the aircraft carrier, and he jumps and he goes, the war is officially ended. <laughs> and that was far from the truth. You have Fallujah and all that stuff, of course, a lot of Marines, their lives, and not only that, a lot of them are right now sitting in these VA hospitals all up on drugs. It's one thing the government likes to do is just give you a lot of drugs. That's how they, that's how they solve everything with drugs, right? But the war didn't end it. Those people still had a fight inside of them. So when, 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 this, when this next uh, uh, Puto, you know, Biden comes out and say, okay, it, it, it's ended in May, May 11, I think, to be exact, of this year, okay? They have something else grievous that's going to come along. Because if you're going to go from a, a, a subsidy, subsidiary subsidies, that's going to be, what, almost $300 a month down to $20 a, a, a month, how the hell are you going to go and eat? The last time I checked, a dog on roasted chicken costs about $19 for eight pound chicken, man. Okay, that they juice up with dug on dug on our uh, 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 embalming fluid. All right. So how are people going to eat? And this is the reason why we always go and we always like to bring out the fact that the Lord Yahweh Bashim is going to take away the stay, you know, uh, uh, the stay of bread from Jerusalem. Okay, which is going to be Yashrada. You got you got most of these dug on proud ass Northern Kingdom can't really feed themselves. There's like ten or fifteen of them in the dug on, you know, two hundred square foot place. Right. And the work is going away from Egypt, which is what. Nobody's going to pay you to come and they're going to weed their yard or scrape or rake their leaves or shit like that. They don't give a crap. They don't have that, they don't have that, 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 uh, what you call residual cash. You're going to do that stuff anymore. People can be you know, going sitting in their house, drinking their ass off, looking at TV, trying to get their mind off of the, of, of the, 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 the tribulation that they're going to be going through. So you've gone to Kingdom Man for a lot of trouble. They're not going to be getting three square meals a day down there. These are lying lips. When they show you, come to America, it's all going to be great. So you see how these tribulations is going to be going right, and that's the reason why the Lord said, you know, let the line, let, let the line, let be silent. And that's why, in line back what you're saying, that's why uh, statewide, uh, uh, nationwide rather, they're uh, they're cutting off the, um, the emergency food stamps, all right, to SNAP, uh, as a threat affected this whole uh, global pestilence that started around 2019. You know, what I'm saying that same pestilence that required for people to wear their face mask for, you know, for those who catch my drift. Mm -hmm. So now, by way of the effects of that pestilence on uh, the financial markets and so forth, including the government through FEMA and, and so forth, they're cutting those extra additional benefits off. So now all you, you know, all, all of Jake has been relying on it, uh, they're being prepped to take the, the Karagma. You know, yeah. it's all part of gradualism. We're gonna take, we're gonna give you these goodies you know, these, these, these gifts to destroy your heart, your mind, pursuing Ecclesiastes 7, just to prepare you through conditioning to take our solution. You want to keep getting your food stamps? All right, come, come here and take this chip. You know, mm -hmm. when you want to maintain your uh, Section 8 housing, come over here and take this chip. You yeah. know, we see we're not even the devil device, man, and see, and this is a part, this is why it's going to be civil war. You know, that's why they're using the left wing side of politics to try to push degeneracy and try to trigger emotions out of Jake. That's why this whole situation, you know, these five nigga cops, you know, putting this to Jake to death, where they got they got fired, okay, but the six, uh, the six cop, which was happens to be Edomite, just got suspended, okay, suspended with pay. Yeah. They know damn, they know damn well there's gonna trigger responses from the left wing, especially, you know, you know, we got you got bug guy Jake. Seeing Black Lives Matter out here, you know, marching, you know, you know, supposedly for their their rights and legal, including legal police reform, when it's all uh, it's really all in actuality a part of, you know, you know these these uh, uh you know these uh, uh, uh these tactics of provoked warfare, okay, with Jake, you know, to further escalate this civil war they got going, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I said the seventh cop in that case is on uh, is in, unanimous. Why? Because they wanted to be unanimous, they control the narrative through the media. Mm -hmm. You see, this is all going to be part of civil war, and this is why. Speaking of civil war, you had um, earlier 
there was actually a, there was a live council by the House Republicans, you know, by the House uh, and the House Republicans to decide on whether or not they were going to vote out the uh, the GOP Republican Housewoman. Um, uh, I believe her name is E. E. Lon Omar. I believe her name is a so-called Muslim chick from Africa. All right, and she may she may or may not be a Jake, but they they wanted to they had a council earlier on behalf of the House to uh, to vote on whether or not they were going to remove her from foreign the Foreign Affairs Committee because she made a, a anti shield comment against Amalek on Twitter or social media some months ago several months ago, and they wanted to cancel her for that, but. According to when I was when, when I was white when I was keeping up with the update, they they're not going to rule her out, and she knows that because they have Esau as a plan with her, okay? Because she's actually Republican, and she and ironically she she represents the ideals of the left wing. So in other words, they're using politics to confuse Jake so they can play both sides of the field and keep Jake conformed to the B system, especially in terms of politics. Yeah, Would he be Republican or Democrat really don't matter. You know, see, we, this is all part of Esau's wine okay. yeah and you've got you got jake really falling for this stuff like you got them dancing for the democrats you know they, they keep they you know they keep falling for you know the clintons and all that stuff like that you get jamie fox and many of these other comedians pushing out oh clinton you know we had we already had our first black president you know bill clinton and all that stuff why he plays a saxophone come on he saw as a he saw as a as a caveman he imitates everything that's the reason why the commercial always say if you, if you, a caveman can do it, so so can you, or whatever case like that. That doesn't make him a damn. Okay, then you get the rest of these, uh, uh, these, uh, these, these, uh, sort of uh, niggas and Latinos and stuff like that. That you know, I, I'm a Republican. I'm I'm high. I I, I, I call it like that. They walk around with the cowboy boots and the hats and everything like that. You know, like what do you what do you fight for? Do you understand that these 17 nations hate us? Do you know what crafty consul is? You know, Jeffrey Dahmer, when he went out, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, Esau, you can compare him like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, when Jeffrey Dahmer went out there, he was all smooth and sweet and all that stuff, okay? And Jeffrey Dahmer doesn't even consider himself a homo or sodom or anything. He just, he just wanted to just grab Jake and eat him. Time. He, pulled, he pulled Jake over with Jake's ignorance, okay? And did what? Kill all of them, all right? That's Esau right there. Why? See, we, we can come up boldly and we'll talk about these stuff going, I'm the, I'm, I'm the Kaitsis, I'm Lex. Okay, okay, we know who you are. We also understand that our protection comes from the Lord, Yahusha, Mashiach, who created all of this. So guess what? That's the reason why we cry inside and we speak boldly against you. We don't give two fuck about what the hell he saw things of us. And we already know if you try to mess with any of us, what's going to happen to him? Okay? When you go into the book of Second uh, Andrew chapter 6, and starting in verse 22, it says, and suddenly... Shall a sown places appear on sown the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. We've seen that happening right now. Okay. Now, when they start impacting these doggone Edomites, this is where you're really going to see that uproar starting to go. Okay. Because, see, nothing, Whoopi Grover made a statement the other day. Are we going to really get serious about pop brutality when, when so called white people are getting their ass beat down? Okay. And there was something like, oh, she's racist and all that stuff. Because as a nation of double emotional people, see these, you, you go and you can see the, 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 the comments that was made on MSN about it, and it's like, wow, you know, unbelievable because these people are asleep. But see, there's going to be that brutality that's going to come on these Edomites. Becky is going to get her ass beat. So is Amy and Jessica and Tommy and Harry. You dug on dog bitches, you, you, you pale faced dog bitches are going to get dragged with your car and beat down, okay? Because this man doesn't give a shit about your ass, okay? Okay. You didn't look at the Georgia Guidestone where you said they want to eliminate, okay, right down to 500 million people. If there's 8 billion people, that means they're looking to eliminate everybody else. You people are just used to see it. And it says, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they should be suddenly afraid. The only people who are not going to be afraid, and even, even us who actually understand this, okay, you're going to shake a little bit like that because why? We, we're the hopefully left, okay? We're looking to be delivered. We pray that we be delivered. Okay, but that sound of dread that's going to be coming all across this earth, we can see exactly how broad these people's shoulders really are. You see Edomite that walk around so proud. Okay, boy, you you really, you people are really not ready for the nigga life yet. Boy, what you're going to get, and it says, at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies? Well, do Edomites have friends? Do they, do they have friends with each other? Do they have dinner? They have dinner, right? 
So that means that they have friends, they have friends and stuff like that. So the Lord is saying, you're going to fight against each other. And it says, an earth should stand in fear with those that dwell there. And the springs of the fountain shall stand still in three hours. They shall not run. So these friends are even going to be against nation, friendly nations, your allies. Okay. And when you bring it on the lower level, okay, down to the macro, to the macro level, when you're looking at just the, 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 the general population itself, man is going to be every dog on animal for themselves. And you're damn right. You people are dog on animals. There's a reason why the Lord preferred you all as dogs. That's right. Okay. And you look and you've called us animals. You know, when our people, you know, when you look at uh, Katrina, for example, when they try to forage food, we were referred to as animals, but everybody else was referred to as they're surviving. You make fun of our situation with your shows, with your reality TV shows, okay, of hunger and being poor. Okay, you make fun of us. That's that's really making fun of us and spitting in our face. But that's going to become a reality. It's not going to be, a, that's going to be a reality, not a reality TV show anymore. Okay? Now, you people think that you do bad things. See, the Lord has a way he's going to cancel out, okay, which is un undoubtedly the largest tribe on this earth, which is what? Yasharala, okay? Yeah. That's right. And y'all, and he's gonna cancel out 66%, two thirds. And how do you think he's gonna do that? Our people are sottish on a level you can't even begin to understand. You yeah. ask anyone who you get nervous around and you get nervous around someone that looks like you. You walk out there and, and any, any of the brothers and the, and the teachers could tell you, you see some, you see, you see some niggas standing out in the corner there, dark skin, just like how I look. Right. Or you start to like, you, you watch them closely, and thinking of an escape plan because most likely they thinking about doing something to you. Okay, our people are sottish, and that's why the Lord said, you know, Judah is going to be a terror. You people are about to get an understanding of what doggone being uncomfortable is all about, and what wickedness is all about. The Lord is going to use two thirds. Now we understand why that wing of protection has to be over us, because to them we all look alike, and they're going to want to eliminate us. And they're going to blame. You know why they can blame the prophets? Somehow it's going to be our fault because we stood up there and hide in the Bible and tell you and show you signs and show you pictures, illustrate to you dumb fucking people out there that the destruction is coming in. So somehow that's our fault. And we're yeah, not worried. Yeah. We have yeah, not worried. Yeah, they're gonna be like, uh, like it says in Amos five and ten, and uh, wisdom of Solomon fit chapter. They're gonna, they're gonna, um, they're going to uh, make us, uh, make us an offensive word. And, uh, um, and what does it say in Amos five and ten? It says, uh, um, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and it's a scripture. Um, oh, they, they hate us. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna publicly exhibit their hate for us, rebuke him in the gates. Yeah, they you say, know, they say, you hate him that rebuke it in the gate. And they abhor him and speak it uprightly. So we're hated. We're hated. So we're not in this for popularity show for good because I can tell you right now, every day we go out there, our life is on the line. But we put our life on the line because we are the service of Yahshua Mashiach. That's right. I'll be honest with you, and it's not being cocky. I have never been concerned one day when I, not even for one minute when I go down the highway in the byway. That's the that's that's spirit we're supposed to be in. You know what I'm saying? It's really a gift. That go that ties with faith because gift is a faith. I mean, um, said set that backwards. Faith is a gift. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean that's through the spirit. And, and and the reason why there's nothing wrong with that. Let me get this quick precept. Let me share the screen. Land back on that point real quick. Uh, what does it say? Um, uh, what does it say? Um, let me see. Let me see. It is a scripture on that. Yep, uh, Psalm 44 and 8. And the Most High God, Yahweh, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Salah, on one. All right, so we, we, don't, we don't have any fear. And why is that? Okay. Uh, I'm going to get this uh, next precept. The book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Now, grace is only sufficient, uh, righteously sufficient for the nation of Israel because we are currently under, under our grace period for uh, deliberately 
transgression, the law, statutes, commandments of the first holy covenant that was only given to Israel in the first place. That's why we're currently in the grace period now uh, within this ministry of reconciliation, okay, to, to be deemed worthy enough to be spared from the Lord, the Yahweh by Shimon Shah's indignation to his plagues by rehearsing the righteous law, statutes, commandments, man, to, until we get perfected on the second holy covenant. So, so that's why we're coming bold into the throne of grace because we know we have, we know who our power is, okay, and we have full, we have, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, complete confidence that He's going to um, be there for us, man. Okay, by way of our our constant laboring for as long as you've been laboring, you know, for righteousness' sake, man. Like it says in Psalm the ninety fourth chapter, who shall, who shall, um, roughly paraphrasing, who shall fight for righteousness for me? And only the elect are doing that. Yeah. The church serve, serve no purpose in that, and that's why. They're going to be destroyed. You know, because yeah. in civil warfare, they've already chose their side. That's Esau, Edom. Out of fear of losing their carnal lives, okay, they're going to, they're, 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 they're they, they, uh, they're still going to lose their carnal lives through this flesh. Yeah. Okay. And they're going to be, they're going to come through our loins, Adam rises out of the, of the, the, the elect. For sin Revelation 20 chapter, they're going to be reincarnated, reincarnated that way. Okay, for, for their incredulity, man. Okay, for them trusting in a man of sin and son of perdition over the man of war. Okay, and so the Lord would jack us up right now so that way we can suffer now to be further rooted up in the faith so that way we don't have to suffer later with the masses, man. Yeah. And that will get weak when their livelihoods are compromised and they will go and they will look for a solution that Esau will use as a snare, to, which is going to be this chip, and they're going to they're gonna die. They're going to die horribly. And it's like a fire, man. It's a second death. You got these men out here as we we say it all the time, you see them. You know, I I, I just refer to them as just soft like dog on chicken poop. I mean, cause Calm. seriously, I mean Calm, man. Straight up. Baby it, softer than baby shit. It, it, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You, we go out there on the highway and the byway, these cars will just drive by. These men won't stop. The Lord is only dealing with the man. He's not dealing with these dog on women. Women are expected to be just just, you know, whatever the cases like that. And I remember when I, I remember when I was going out there alone, um, you know, a couple of these uh, uh, Northern Kingdom, they would stop. And I would let them know, you know, really, you know, your household, really, your, your, your fate is, your, your fate and your works is going to be saved to save your household. And he was just, they, they're concerned about their doggone image, man, like, okay, who's going to see me out here? And those people, they don't want to stop to talk to us and they don't want to be seen. They see the little camera. But they'll shake their damn ass in the front of a damn camera. And put on TikTok. Huh? They'll go and they'll put all their they'll go on information on Facebook and Twitter and all this other stuff. But you won't stop there because you see a little camera right there. And you know, you gotta give glory and auntie, how about Shimia Shai? The fact that he said he would use his foolish things to confound these these people who, who think that they're wise. These people driving their cars, they think they're wise. Fine. And especially they see two. Negroes who are nobodies out there. They're nobody. They don't they don't deserve our time. And that's the reason why the Lord put us out there. Uh -huh. He gave us a specific way in how to dress, even, and how we actually speak loud, commanding voice, not like those soft bitches. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. And it, it is it is and, and dress like this so that you can make fun of us. Why are they standing out there with dug on that stuff on there, you know? With that funny writing on their double forehead, with the Bibles in their hand, you know, they're nobodies. Because the Lord, that's how the Lord is sifting out. You know, it's like if you want a woman to check her, is she really into you? Don't have, don't have a part to piss in. If she still wants to be around you, then, not, then she really wants to be with you, man. Right. Because everybody falls in love with a friggin' double on, you know, somebody that has it all. Okay, and that's why because power is his, is, is his wealth. Okay, which is that double on petrol dollar, which is about to drop. And he knows the only other way to do that is to take everybody else down through this double on Karagma. When you go into the book of Jeremiah 51 and starting with verse 52, it says, Wherefore, behold, the day come, said the Lord, that I will do judgment upon her graven images and through all the land the one that shall grow. So everything these people double on worship so dearly, get envy, you know, the image of, you know, immortality, trying to be beautiful, the plastic surgeries and you know, this wickedness, you got a dog on wicked ass whore, like Madonna, 66 years old, still walking around, leotards and child. It's disgusting. I don't know what she did to her face. Cause she almost looks, she look like a gook right now, actually, man. 
they 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 pull her skin so far back like now nah, she got a she, she look like a damn goof. Yeah, okay. just like Lil Kim. Yeah, just like Lil Kim. That's what he, yeah. he's, and these women in general, man, they're just they're, they're part of the problem. That's why, um, you know, and, and that's why they're going to be afraid to remind. They're going to be afraid to, uh, you know, uh, expose as casualties of war. You know, no matter how old and young they are, you know, because you know, especially these wicked ass uh, female celebrities like Madonna who got caught for uh, her affiliation with, um, you know, the, uh, you know, the whole, uh, you know, sex trafficking thing or the pedo thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. She got exposed with that. She no different than Hillary Clinton with the, the Pizzagate sh- situation. That's how wicked they are in Hollywood, man. So a lot of them, a lot of them going to be, they're going to be dropping dead. Left they right. are going to, man. And and and, and these eaves, boy, they they don't understand how the Lord is going to humble. When you read that, when you go into that scripture, you know, uh, and I talk about, it, you know, how they're going to be, how they're going to be begging, trying to sell themselves to 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 the man of the Lord. See, because what the man, what what, what Yahweh Shimiyasha is going to do. He's gonna get rid of all these effeminate men. All of these they'll go on passive, aggressive, they'll go on um what do they call what do they call those guys? Uh what do they call those guys? Sims. Sims. Yeah. He's gonna come to that. Uh-huh. And the only people gonna be left is gonna be angry, raging, lions, like us. Uh-huh. All willing. Okay. And you that's what that's what he's gonna leave. So the very thing that these dog on wicked ass eaves okay don't want to deal with it. they don't want to hear you got to be in order i'm gonna oh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna have you in order from start to finish here's what you are here's what you really are you are you're a servant to me they don't want to hear that but that's all the choices they're gonna have and that's why they can come begging hoping to be to to, to be accepted God. and that's the reason why they said they ain't trying to see, notice that they notice in that scripture they're not trying to sell their panani. They're trying to tell you exactly what their skill is. I'll bake your bread, we'll sew our clothes, make our own, we'll do anything. Done. So you can see, panani ain't going to be worth any number one thing. You're going to be running for your damn life from Jeffrey Dahmer who want to eat your ass and shit like that. Okay? And it says, though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, said the Lord. A sign of cry coming from Babylon and great destruction from the land of Chaldeas. These people really don't believe it. These are the same doggone people that won't even sign up to go in their own damn military. They've never seen warfare. They've never even gotten a damn fist fight for the most part of most of these damn people. So what are you going to do when you have what is going to be amount to about a eight or nine or ten to one? That's Hebrew Israelites. The true Hebrew Israelites, they can come in all kinds, all color too. A lot of these doggone people who think that they're doggone crackers. Take be sure. Yes, you go back to freaking double on Abraham to, to uh, Abraham, uh, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh-huh. You can talk. You can wonder why. Oh, gee, that's why. God damn it! I knew why you um, had it so high in society. Yeah, you had the nigga life. You just had. You just had. The, you just had the skin color of a double on cracker. And they can be angry. Now it ain't gonna be a whole lot of you, but it's just gonna be some of you. Okay. So Esau believed that they can only pick out that stuff. That that's the reason why they have Kanye West go and say. Or blacks think that they're Jews. Or what happened to the Latinos? We go out there all the time. We say Native American, Latinos, so-called Latinos, and blacks. So why didn't they come on to say that? Because again, they, this hatred that Esau has, okay, for the hair tribe of Israel, which is which, which is which is Judah. That's how much they hate and, and contrary, okay, to Yahusha and Mashiach. Because they have that deep fear, and they understand we're going to kill his, we're going to kill his inner circle tribe of Benjamin, Judah, and Levi are going to kill the Negroes because they know who's coming in those doggone chariots. Big Negro. Piss. John. You know, and uh, John. think about this, man. Okay. Throughout the scribal, before, before, I, before, I, before I got the, the understanding from the Alice and Apostle and, and likewise brothers like yourself, John. right? I learned from and when I used to go and try to read this, all I saw was this angry, angry, angry. And I couldn't understand. Yeah. I know Jesus, I'm talking about the white Jesus could be so yeah. nice. Guy. But all through this book, especially Revelation, it's yeah. talking about anger and vengeance. And in my minute understanding, man, this, this, whoever's coming back, this white guy, yeah. Jesus coming back, 
He's not yeah. pissed. And I, 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 I couldn't get that. And that was the reason why I didn't, I know went to church. And I just yeah, thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't, add, none of it added up. It's not realistic. I, I, didn't even, I didn't even understand this. I yeah, only not just, realistic. the few words I understood yeah, like, was piss. Yeah, two and two, because those, those are two, the, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 it doesn't add up, you know, the, it, because that, that doesn't, because, you know, just two and two, you know, uh, uh, you, you can't put two and two together with that equation, man. You got when you are including a uh, uh, self-proclaimed white man or, or a jolly, you know, a happy-go-lucky looking, looking Charlie Manson so-called white man. And then you got, and you, when you read the description of the true Messiah, he doesn't fit the description of, of what they have presented. So then, like, it can confuse people. And that's why the scriptures speak about, that's another reason why the scriptures speak about the simplicity in Hamashiach. He made it simple for us uh, within everything written in the volume of the book, which is himself, the embodiment of the word that has an appearance. So anyone who says he doesn't look like that, he doesn't look how it, it describes in Revelation 1, Daniel 10, and so forth, is an anti-Messiah, like it says in um, uh, 1 John, the fourth chapter. And see, so these are he's, he's all a part of the, the lies of this devil, man. You know? You know, so, the, the forger of lies. So... My thing is, is, you know, if they believe that the God of the Bible is a so-called white man, which they depict and everything, right. Right? and if they were reading the scholars, reading the anger, these either might be pissing their parents at an angry white cracker God is coming back to fuck them up. Or who's Babylon? See, if they come up, and this is why when you watch these, like, Joel, Joel, Joel see, he doesn't go into it, but, like, uh, I forgot, I think, I can't remember the name of these, uh, once have these uh these uh these um prophecy prophets that uh, the Edomites who would like come out of that and they will go and they will talk about like Babylon's and Iraq and blah 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 they will come with all this crap and turn it around and go Jerusalem uh, you know Israel or the Holy Land and all that stuff is going to be saved and America is going to be that big that that nation that's going to go save Israel and um you know God you know God is going to use America to go save Israel from an invasion from Russia and all that stuff and this is what I heard in the 1990s. Man, I was a buy into that bullshit. I, somewhat, I was entertaining how he did it, but they, they, they had a really good. And actually, you had to get a DVD app, another DVD, the VHS tape afterward. So, of course, you know, mail order to get that, get that shit because, you know, man, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, that means these Edomites are not scared. If, if they, don't, if they cannot believe the doctrine that's coming here, the truth. Okay. And they want to believe that the so called, the, the, the so called white man is, is God and Jesus. Well, if you believe, if they believe in the Bible and they believe that they're, that they're the deity, uh, this should still be fair. Uh, and yes, they have the, yes, they don't have the fear of the angry white God coming back. Proving that what, 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 what the scripture says is what? Okay. Everybody's blinded except the elect. <laughs> that's right. Everybody. That's right. And so you can never convince an Edomite, and you see these arguments going all the time when they would approach these camps. You know, I, I saw the Azana Mad, he had one approach, you know, a dog approaches a camp on, on, when he had uh, live on Saturday. And we see it all the time when these Edomites will come. Okay? Because their thing is, is that, no, God loves everybody. He's not coming to destroy. Well, wait a minute, where, where, where's that in the Bible? And why is it talk so much? Why, 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 is, why is the Apocrypha goes in, uh, you know, goes into destruction? And most of the old, a lot of the Old Testament goes into it. And then the Book of Revelation. Uh, throughout the volume of the book, it's, it's always it's talking about destruction. That one of the first precepts of um, that was brought out earlier, like in Isaiah 14, it goes into the destruction of Babylon. What goes into why the golden city of America, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed? Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50. It's all throughout the volume of the book, including the Apocrypha, including the New Testament, especially Revelation. You know, it's all throughout the book. So, how can you miss these things if you're a so called man of the Lord? You know, uh, preaching and prophesying in the pulpit because you're not, you're not, you're not prophesying anything. You're not bringing this information out. And even, even if you are, if there's any leaven in your doctrine, your whole, your whole doctrine is off. So you can, there ain't no such thing as 99.9 percent .9 truth. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you say that the MOT to the B is sin, you're going off. You can have everything else right. That's yeah. not going to get you. It's not going to get you saved from from the Heavenly Father's uh, indignation through these plagues coming up.
That's going to get you a first first row seat, okay, into that destruction, man. Especially destruction. those who take the Karagma. Yeah. You got Doug on Dabu Seven. You got you got Dabu Seven redacted, man. They coming to left and right. Boy, Dabu Seven. Dabu Seven. I don't know, but I, I believe that dude might be a Jake. I believe, yeah, Khan. I, I believe. I, I'm like, is he watching? Because he yeah. came on the. I go, is he watching? And he says the Most High a lot too. When you when you watch him, he he mentions the Most High a lot. Yes. He says, oh, our praise to the Most High. Even yeah. don't talk that, like that. Yeah, and he's yeah, and he's he's going into a lot of things, and he is uh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, is he watching? Is he watching the? Uh, is he watching the the apostle, the uh, likewise brothers and stuff? You know, like that? you know how he is. You know how I know because the uh, the elder brother from a uh, uh, men of valor, Atazawan. I believe his channel is Atazawan one forty four, something like that. But Atazawan went on Dabu's one of Dabu's social media accounts, and he asked him. He said, you know, you know, the Lord's name is Yahweh or, or something along those lines. And Dabu blocked him. So either way, you know, he, he know he he knows about us. And, and it's definitely rubbing off on him whether he chooses to acknowledge that or not. When he when he go when he goes in with his news reports and so forth, you know, is it's coming in a vibration of prophecy. Yeah. So he's, a perfect, he's a perfect example of a truther. But unless you're an actual truth, man, you're not gonna make it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta come all the way with it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be full throttle with this ministry, man. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't come on and be like, well, let me do it just in a way so Esau uh, could like me or whatever. Because they're like, no, we're not, no, we're not here to let Esau know. We're here to tell Esau, you crackers are gonna die. John, we're gonna suffer horribly. The Lord isn't gonna just like wipe you out just like that. No, He's gonna make you. You crackers are gonna come down in the dust, man. Y'all gonna be like, uh, y'all gonna be worse than us. Okay, you're gonna know what it's like to be a Negro under a damn bridge there begging. You can learn. You, you dug on proud, dug on your know, poodles. You dug on so-called white women, man. Y'all gonna know what it's like to be dug on trying to freaking dug on, you know, sell your pooch for freaking dug on a nickel. Okay. Oh, and they're doing that uh, down there in um, Venezuela. They're selling box for for uh, for food and shit, and see. A lot of the, these Shedemites, these other heathen nations, the women of these other heathen nations are going to have to do that because they're, yep. they're going to they're realize, they're going to remember OnlyFans and how a major part of the consumerism of America was through sex. Like I say, sex sells. So they're going to be desperate. A lot of these women that don't have skills. They've been living off of uh, the government, living off of simp-ass men. Okay, when all hell breaks loose, that's that's another reason why Isaiah four one is going to come in, and come to pass. You have a lot of you desperate women uh, hearkening to the beacon of light. You know, you know, a part of the beacon of, of light is the prophets. To the true beacon of light is Yahweh by Shemeshai. But yeah. they cannot be saved without a man of the Lord. And this is why, real quick, we bring out this uh, precept. Let's uh, share the screen. All right, I believe it's in uh, it's that precept. It says how, uh, okay, Khan, Isaiah 32 and 2. All right, it's Isaiah 32 and, uh, and verse 2. And it reads, sorry, verse 1, Behold, the king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place. As a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. So we're, we're going to be that. We're going to we're going to be that that uh, source of uh, protection with the front with these women, man, these last days. OK. All right. The, the men of the Lord. Because they're going to they're going to come to find out. You know that the, these uh, these low vibrational uh, men, you know, more mildly known as bad boys and shit like that. That shit that shit has been played out, and it's only for carnal benefits. You know, what I'm saying like like clout. You know, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, and, and, and that kind of shit. You know, vain glory. Yeah. You know, temporary carnal pleasures, man. Okay, you know, you know, boosting your 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 social status. You know that you know that that and that kind of morale. That's 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 stupid shit, man. It, it, it doesn't mean it's it's uh it's null and void whether or not you're 
you're well known or not. It's really, it's really better to be uh, unknown. Okay. Yeah. And that way you can blend, you can blend it with the traffic more. So yeah. you, you're going to have to find that out the hard way. All, all these Chads and Tyrones and Pablos and all that shit, all, all these niggas going to be put to death ruthlessly. I just heard something earlier where there was a six-year-old Edomite boy with his Edomite, Shedomite mother. Okay. And Edomite boy got mauled to death by a pack of wild dogs. And that's not the first time I heard something like this happen. There was a, there was a Shedomite dog sitter last year, you know, what, you know, fairly good looking girl, whatnot, or good looking young woman, 20 years old. And, uh, the dog, she was dog sitting, tore her fucking face apart. Now, yeah, and then she never, she never looked the same. She got and that, that's judging from from you how about Shemir Shai. Yeah, and that's why it reminds me Joe of the Fit chapter says when we when we we're in the midst of these beasts, we're gonna laugh. We're not gonna have any fear, man. As as, as opposed to these people in the world, okay? Because when when you, when you fear in that sense, that's your guilty conscience coming to play. Why would you fear unless you believe that the Lord is not with you? Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. women, they're gonna be getting, they're gonna, they're gonna be getting, they're gonna be getting scraped, even to the point of death, like that movie, The, the Divide. Yeah, you know, and even to the point of death, it's gonna get, it's gonna get horrible out here, man. Now they're gonna, like, I put on Twitter, they're gonna legalize the pedo thing, man. That's why they keep pushing it out there. So we're not, see, we're, we're prone to Esau devices, man. You see, and there's no limit to it. And we understand there's no limit to a degeneracy. Oh. That decadence he's looking to present as life. Mm. So, so that's how he's gonna present it. You, you you know you want to continue to you want to continue to to live how you have been living, keep the roof by keeping roof over your head. Continue to be able to buy and sell at will. You're not going to be able to remain a functional part of the society unless you completely conform. And they and they and they're going to be targeting people that don't. They're not going to be doing that. They're using these these puppets like Kanye and these other clowns like Andrew uh, Andrew Tate and so forth uh, to demonize certain uh, uh certain facets of the word like like austerity okay putting your foot down like a man and not you know tolerating the foolishness of these women that they use Angie Tate for that okay a clear uh uh damn agent that's why him and his brother were throwing up some freemasonic signs and whatnot yay too yay all these other clowns man got rihanna getting ready to perform the super bowl her wicked ass you tell her that she's a benjamite she look at you like, like you got a third eye in your head, man. Yeah. Let's see. They can find out that they can find they can find out the highway. When you go in the book of Isaiah 30 and 7 verse 12, it says, Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because you despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And you're gonna see that right now. It's gonna it's gonna be the, the, the play, this, this place is going to suddenly fall, and it, and these and, and the people are not prepared, not 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 physically. They're not even prepared. They're not prepared mentally. Okay, because you got these doggone. I remember a couple of years ago. Uh, well, maybe it was about two, maybe 15, 15 or fifteen years ago. Uh, you had Steve Harvey who was looking at the camera, and him and um, Bernie Mac before Bernie Mac passed away, looking going. Hey, white people, man, give me a chance, you know, whatever the cases like that. This is when it was doing the uh, Kings of Comedy tour. God. Okay. And, you know, now you look at Steve Harvey right now, and he's got like about 20 mansions and whatever the cases like that, and all these different things. Uh, his daughter, I think, was dating the uh, dating the guy from the Creed, from, from the Rocky movie Creed. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, uh, Bernie Mac, he passed away. He, he was pretty, he was pretty well off himself. And you look at the faces of Jake from the 1990s when it was like, oh, screw the white man, to now these same guys that you would look at and thought was something. When I when I listen to old school, early 90s gangster music, and I was I, I would listen to them once in a while just to, oh, okay, I remember that from my movie, uh, you know, um, Man of Society, whatever things like that. Uh -huh. And when I go, damn, I'm looking at these guys today now. They're you know, middle-aged men, and what they became, I go, wow, what a bunch of bull fucking shit. God. And this, when you're young, inexperienced, and you follow that, and you follow in that crap like that, like, look at these guys, man. Look at these guys. You really bought into that crap, man. And now look at them. So that's why Esau is using them because at that time, the the greatest 
really uh, time that East, especially after the Rodney King incident had took place, yeah. where yeah. you know there was a real riled up Jake. Jake was riled up, man. You know, and you had a different younger Jake than you had a your generation, you know, generation Y at that time, ready to ready to, ready to go at Esau. And you are like rappers singing about, man, screw the police, we're gonna, you know, screw you up. And they got threatened by that. You know, it went from that doggone chick singing about rapping about Kentucky Fried Chicken back in the 80s with um, Cool Modi and friggin' Double Grandmaster Flash them to these type of guys that were coming out saying, man, hey, screw this. And that's yeah, why, yeah. yeah, these Amalekites had to get, they had to get into that real quick. You know, Saturday with NWA, they had to get into that real quick that's and take over right. because there was a distinct, when you go back to the 80s, and I want you to go look this up, okay? When you go back to the 80s, did you know that the Grammy Awards actually had a black, a, a so-called black Grammy Award and a white Grammy Award? They actually used to, there was two separate awards. Wow. Yes, go back and look at it. The, the awards were separate. So the music was contemporary. The awards was given to black music, and then the awards was given to white artists, okay? It was separate. It ain't like now where they kind of just go and say, I'll put the as this or song of this, you know, whatever case like that, where they blend it, okay? No, it was separate. So there was a time when you look, when you that, and that's the reason why music is such shit now, because once Esau got a hand, got a hold of it, he realized that he can channel it, because music can actually hypnotize your ass, and I, I am very careful of listening to nostalgic music from the early 90s, especially the 80s ones don't do anything to me, because usually I'm a teenager, but especially in my sortish years in the 20s, I'm very careful listening to those music because those usually cast usually cast some spirit on you, some hardcore spirit on you, man. Right. You know, and so you know when I go back and listen to the or, or early early '90s R. Kelly when he was with uh, you know, um, with public announcement and go back into you know some summertime and all the early early gangster music and stuff and all that stuff like that, man. They they cast some spirit on you like that because it cast that sort of spirit on you. And so you gotta be very careful. And you saw no music is something that we retain in our head and hum and keep going. And those words itself, filled with a lot of demonic messages, is what's got to stay right here. Because that's why you get these doggone 55 year old, 60 year old, fat ass doggone women and, and, and these dudes with a big old gut going around there, oh girl, that's my song. And they just doing them. They live in the old days. They're going back in yeah. that time when it was younger and sordish as hell. They want to capture that. Right. And right. So it keeps you in that spirit of keep trying to recapture your glory days, man. That's right. what they keep doing. That's why you see they got Mike Tyson right now. You know he had that sacrifice, but they keep him going because Mike Tyson represented the glory days of boxing in the 80s and all that stuff like that. Okay? He represent that. And that's why they keep pumping him up. Okay? They keep pumping him up because why? He, he was sort of wicked as hell. And then now, oh, we got him all mellowed out and all the other stuff it out. But Holyfield was a better fighter. And so we're freaking up on a whole lot of other fighters. Why aren't they propped up like that? Because he sort of don't want them up there like that. See, they're not they're, they're not good actors. Mike Tyson, he's a very good actor and highly and highly highly intelligent, and they they they, they prepped him up really good. Okay, yeah, just like uh, just like Ice Cube. Um, Ice Cube was uh, he was no gangster. He was no he was speaking of gangster rap. He was no he was no gangster. Uh, he he grew up good. He grew up like in the suburbs and shit. Yeah. You know, they they he saw like you said Amalek. He's whole gangster rap thing. You know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, to paint Jake in a negative light so they could further use these tools of oppression to keep us under uh, operating under low vibrational satanic energy. Yes. So that way when we, when we so that way that would that would uh that would condition our minds to aspire to 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 to, uh, to grow to be like them, to be degenerates instead of yeah. you know at least you know even though you know growing up be a firefighter and a cop is fucking vanity as well, that would have been more profitable to push on Jake than Oh well, you know, I want to grow up to be an athlete, or you know, condition in the mind of Jake to want to grow up to be a rapper, because you know, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no stability in that man. So at first, for one, it's all fake, you know. It's all, it's all set up as a part of Esau's agenda, man. That's what I got puppets in in these kind of industries, man. Like you know what I'm saying. So you know, I say, hey man, and, you know, yeah, Tyson, you know, you all of all of them, man. A lot of these old heads that are still around. That really, they're they're still relevant by way of what you were saying, the glory days. The glory days. We want Jake to to keep uh, indulging in their old men, and I'll put up that old man, like it says in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, how we're supposed to yearn to put up our old men. Okay, yep. that's why I want to keep. That. Yeah, go, you got it. Yeah, and uh, you know, I can I, I I can just tell you from you know someone who grew up, 
you know, and seeing this, you know, for the 70s, 80s, and through the 90s, you know, and then here I am in the year 2023, I go, let me listen to this old music. I, I can't remember what song I listened to the other day. I, oh, I, I actually came across the Leah, the Leah documentary, and they was playing some music, and I man, and they played a the song back and forth, and I was like, oh, man, I remember that song. I was like, well, around, I was like, right around, like, you know, you know, uh, you know, early 20s, man, I was just like, oh, man, you know, boy, and it, and it kind of gives you the feel good. Like, yeah. Wow. Oh, you know, reminisce. Reminisce. Back, back in, um, like that song by P.L. Uh, C-Rock and P.L. Smooth, I think. Yeah, P.L. Smooth, yeah. yeah, yeah. Early 90s to reminisce over you. That's the, that's the spirit they want Jake to be in, I reminisce over you. You know, they want, you know, I, I remember back when I was game, I remember back when I was, you know, doing all kinds of wickedness and then those kind of thoughts. And it's a part of the reason why they, they 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 push his music out there too. You know what I'm saying? So we we can, you know, so they can, you know what I'm saying? So that way Satan can throw out some bait, okay, and then have, and then rear you back in, back to your to your old self, man. Okay. You know, you know, the, the you know, uh, the, the 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 man of unprofitability and his truth. Yeah. You see, that's why a lot of guys go back into the world because they, they want that old thing back. I remember there's a song by Joel Santana, the rapper, uh, uh, the Harlem rapper Joel Santana and Jadakus, the, the Yonkers rapper Jadakus, and they came out with this song some years ago called I Want That Old Thing Back. That was a very spiritual song. And they want to go back to glory days, man. They want to go back to when they was in their youth, their, their youthful, the height of their youthful exuberance, when they was being niggas, you know what I'm saying, slanging drugs and doing all kinds of wicked shit, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 other kinds of wicked shit. You know, and those kind of and those kind of thoughts, you know, your mind can ponder those kind of thoughts. And that's what these devils are banking on, you know, because they, you, you know, because you, because otherwise, I mean, and like I said, in St. Matthew, the 24 chapter, if at all possible, you get to see the very elect. You can't just see the very elect, man. You have because in your world, you have nothing that we, that, that you can offer. So we haven't already seen anyway, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially those who've been around for around a block, you know what I'm saying? A few times more than others. Exactly. They've already been there and done that. They, you know, you, like, you know. The shit that you are, they they offer Jake like, oh well, you know these these uh, you know these record these these uh Hollywood contracts, you know, um, you know, saying where you if you sign if you sign off on this dotted line, with your life, okay, you can have all the finest of bitches, you can have all the 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 finest of riches. It reminds me of that song by the, this nigga Ja Rule back in the late '90s. He came out with a song called How Many Wanna, and he said, I'm in, he said. I'm possessed by my sacrifice. Bitches and ice got me loving hell's paradise. And I, that shit went over my head when I was young. And I was like, and I was in elementary school and that shit came out. And I got a little older and I, and I, and I listened to it. And I heard the lyrics. I'm like, damn. Damn, man. This shit, you know, the, the, the physical counterpart on behalf of the spiritual demon Satan makes this, this covenant with death so enticing to, 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 to remain in a world in the mind to not want to escape this false uh, uh, a sense of comfort okay which which is used to uh uh you know to have people so so more onto their flesh so they grieve the same for the wage of sin is death and, yeah. and that's why uh, uh, apostle paul has said uh or wretched or uh, romans the seventh chapter or wretched uh, uh he said a wretched man that i am in his yeah. in his body of sin roughly paraphrasing he changed the darkness man because these 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 bodies that we're trapped in these chain of darkness have restrictions, okay, and how we and we can save the Lord. We gotta go to this plantation. We gotta do this and that. Because if we don't, then there will be no we wouldn't be able to sustain our livelihoods. And this, then this devil understands that. Yeah, he does. You know. That's why they have their certain mandates in, involved and so forth, the different, you know, draconian measures like down in Canada, where they were freezing people's bank accounts on behalf of these truck drivers protesting against the dragon juice. Okay. You know, it's all all trial runs. Like, yay! You know, so they use a celebrity. Oh, are you saying the Benjamin? You saying Bolt? And Esau stole twelve point seven million dollars from him, and just like then, within a, a, a snap of a finger, man. So, he, and so when they really drop their hammer, they, they're gonna threaten us on every at every side, man. We're gonna really need that that great standard to help us, man. Like it says in Isaiah fifty nine chapter, they're gonna come. They're gonna they they gonna they they gonna hey man, they 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 gonna drop that hammer, man. The hell by Shimon Shai gonna allow them to drop that hammer, man. And they're gonna, you know, they're gonna threaten our every existence, every every fast of our existence. They're gonna threaten it. You see, but hey, well, we we uh, you know, we we've been we we've uh, we already have home field. We already have proverbial home field advantage anyway, because 
a lot of Jake understands what it's like to be without electricity, be without gas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be without food for a certain amount of time, be homeless. Okay. I've slept in my car a few times in my in my life, my especially my sodish years, my twenties and shit. So you know, so when it happens at a premium, it's not really gonna even affect us like that because we already we already we were we're we're built for for adversity and oppression and affliction, man. But these are these these heathen like Esau, these Edomites, they're not gonna have proverbial home field advantages. Why they're gonna be dying quick. Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and that's when that's when people are gonna realize, oh, pursuing Ezekiel 33 and 33, these are men of Lord the whole time. Now yeah. now it's probably getting good favors, man. And you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be shunned away. Yeah, because we're not gonna you're gonna have no use for you, especially if you have nothing to bring to the table, man. Exactly. That's why uh, men of the Lord are being you know being furbished now through these tribulations, man. Suffering great now, even though in some cases I speak for myself, some cases I go through hell, feel like I'm I'm gonna drop dead. Like, not not to say that there's no way in hell that I'm not gonna make it through is but like damn Lord, just take this shit away from me, Baba Kasha. I might yeah. say it just like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe like, nah, you're gonna you I might I, I may end up taking it away from you, but you gotta go through this for a certain amount of time. Okay. And it's not always because you, you went off. It's for chastisement. Now ultimately it's because we went off because we all we all displeased the Heavenly Father pursuant to Daniel the ninth chapter. Okay. Around the twelfth verse. Okay. But the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, knows the limits of our uh, 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 of the change of darkness. That's why he would never put us through anything more strenuous than what we can handle, pursuing 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. And this is a part of our comfort. And it's so another, another part of our comfort is we have a, we have our counsel. We have the Akian, like-minded Akian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that we, we can lean on when we're in trouble. When we can lean on whatever trouble that entails, man, financially, uh, health-wise, you know, uh, whatever. We always have, we have, the, that's that's what we have the counsel for. You see? And that's a, that's a, and oh, that, that's a, that's a, that's a, a very precious thing. That's why, what's that scripture? Let me share the screen real quick. There's a scripture I'm going to bring out. that just came to my uh, spirit. Let me see. Uh, let me bring this up real quick. Um, uh, let me see if I can find it. Yep. Psalm 133 and 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. Okay, what is that? And, and who's a part of that unity? Okay, the body. Okay, let me get that real quick. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 16. For, uh, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working and the measure of every part, make it increase of the body into the edifying of itself in love. All right, and we're part of that royal priesthood. That is that body you're talking about, man. Okay. All right, and this is and this is only involving 144,000 elect governing body, the rest of uh, the one third. And that's why in the previous verse, verse 15, it says, "But speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things, which is ahead, even Hamashiach, because Hamashiach is chief cornerstone of this royal priesthood, this house of David." Okay. You know, and this is and, and this is uh and this is who we do these epistles for, man. We don't do it for nobody else. Because we right. understand that Heavenly Father doesn't give a damn. The Lord Yahweh Shimashah doesn't care about anybody else except for the elect. And that's a hard pill for people to swallow. That's why when hell when our hell breaks loose, you know, in the midst of these uh, global economies collapsing and these governments being uh suspended, rendering lawless societies, people are gonna be in for rude awakening, man, because they're gonna they're gonna see how eerily evil these times really going to be we're going to have to you're going to have to be cutthroat out here just to eat by conspiring on our neighbors their spouses even though even their spouses and and uh, family members and so forth that they live with or grew up with they're going to be conspiring against that's how cutthroat is going to get out here oh, it's going to allow he's not going to allow us to get to that point mentally and spiritually to where those kind of thoughts even we our minds even ponder that because we're going to be guided man okay just like our forefather job he was guided through his misery to where he 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 didn't doubt, you know he he, you know he 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 got he got weak in the flesh, to where he was like, damn, like when are you gonna, why are you why are you doing this to me? I, you know he he knew why he was being done to him, but like, hey, well, you know what the hell, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the Most High had to he had to chew him out, you know what I'm saying? You know that lesson I did, you know what I'm saying? I, I was going into that, you know how you know the Lord, uh, how why the Lord allows demons to try the righteous. Now I mentioned that video, I brought out a scripture, a precept in Job, where 
the Heavenly Father put Job through that as a further testament of what the rest of the uh, hopeful elect men and women and children were to go through, man, to be tried through these trials and tribulations to try them, okay, through, through, through the miseries of his flesh to strengthen them in the spirit because that's, that's very, that's, that's required for us to, to, to be conditioned of mind to be more absent in the flesh, this body of death that don't profit us, like it says in St. John 6 and 63, and to be more present in the spirit, like uh -huh. it says in Corinthians, man. That's the, that's the only way we're going to really grow in the truth because if it, it, because true adversity really comes when we're, we're being played, whether it's in the mind, in the flesh, and that shit don't fucking feel good, man. No, it doesn't. And I speak for myself. I could sometimes I get mad. I get mad at the Lord, man. Like you know, but I, I understand that I know better. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm less than nothing compared to you. How about Shimei man? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think he. I think he was leaning for even consider us to be worms, comparing us to worms. I actually think we're less than that. Mm -hmm. That's how that goes. That goes into the plenteous grace and mercy of Abba Nawi. How about Shimei Shai, man? You know what I'm saying? That that he he loves us as, as much as he does. You know, to reveal his mysteries to us, man, including why we catch hell. So when we catch hell, you know, we, we you know, it's, you know, it, 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 you know, you may feel some type of way, but at least you have, you have clarity. Yeah, you understand you exactly what I'm getting at. Yeah. Compared to like before when you're getting it and you didn't understand why you was getting it. Because, you know, you, you, you got brothers, uh, I can speak for myself, who, it wasn't no damn one year. A couple of decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. You know, it's like kind of run up a slippery slope. You know, you deal with that. And so when you get that little relief right now, you look at it and go, wow, okay. And you have the understanding of why, why, why it is. You know, and the big thing is, is that we're not idle in this. We're not idle in this. You know, you think about, oh, man, what's my lesson today? What, what am I going to do for life? Um, how can I make these signs a little bit better? Okay. Um, where would be a better spot to go stand up on the highway in the byway? Right. How can I improve this site? You know, oh, wait, can, I, I, I got to get a stream on this site here to, 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 to be a, a backup site where people can go and then YouTube on the way I can stupid where you can come and really bring it out. Um, those things like that. You know, um, you know, others will look and go. Uh, and I would, I'm not going to mention it because one brother asked me, um, we know what Akiyam goes, Man, why are you spending that kind of money on that site? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's a pretty, he's, he's one of the popular, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention him on this. Yeah. Because uh, this go out, yeah. right? Um. Anyway, he said it. Now, I go. I don't know. This is, this is the same dog on spirit that came on me to go build it to begin with. All right. So, I don't see it like that. Your hands need to not be idle. And I never want to be idle. It's 24 hours a day. I sleep for roughly three hours a night, if I, if that. I, I, I only sleep like two, two and a half hours if I can get that a night. Oh. And it's been my life for the last 30 years, you know, to sleep only two hours a night. I don't know why, but that's all I can sleep I can get. So you, you gotta, you, 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 you come up with ways to do it. So you, you before this truth, all those hours I was spent trying to better myself at Esau. Trying to be a real good servant to Esau, man, a good slave. Now, damn good slave to Esau. I served Esau very well. I was a damn good slave for that man. And now that I realize who he is and all that stuff, I have an yeah. anger that I can't seem to quench. God. And, and 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 I really, truly, and honestly don't give a fuck about these crackers, man. I really don't. I I can't wait. I take ten punches just to see a cracker get knocked the fuck over with one. God. That I don't like, I despise these fucking other nations and these niggas, these weak ass fucking niggas. All right? That's how much I despise their fucking ass. I, I have no, I, I pray to the Lord every day to put the heart of a cold motherfucker when the time comes. For these fucking people. All right? For these people. Because you're right. And Bill Gates is right. They are useful to fucking useless eaters. And I can't, I can't wait to see to watch these crackers. These armor people. You guys put these motherfuckers to death and the look on the damn people face who think they're special. The look on their face. I pray to you how about Shimei Al Shaddai live to see that. God. At least. God. You would have died before I get on the cherry. Which, which honestly, like the elder brothers and all of them all say, 
I don't know why. I think I'm not going to die. <laughs> oh, oh, that's your spirit. It's your spirit. Um, I, get that real quick. Let me share, let me share, uh, uh, let me share this again. Guys, I can lead us in St. Matthew, the 16th to 26th chapter. Let me see. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, yep, St. Matthew 16, 28. Yeah, how I said, Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. All right. So I mean what you know, we're gonna our flesh is gonna die, but I, we're gonna be re, we're gonna be reinvigorated um you know uh under the second holy covenant, you know, uh, when we're translated into the chariots and to these uh celestial angelic bodies, man, immortal bodies. And this mm -hmm. and see and all the hell do we catch down here? We're seeing Romans 18 18 doesn't amount to that glory that we're going to get. And then to add on to that comfort, man, you know, um, to the fact that uh, some of us are not going to die. And that, could, that could very well be us. I don't know what You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to you know, to last the end, to witness the destruction of America, Babylon the Great. You see? You know what I'm saying? For keeping his precepts. Matter of fact, I think there's a, there's a precept on that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh... This oh, right. Psalm, right Psalm 19, 134. I think that's the one. Con, yeah. here, con, con. Right. I see the spirit. Psalm deliver 19, me from oppression. You got it? Yeah, deliver me from oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Woo! Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, and I had that, I had that on my I had that for like dog one. Five five minutes here. <laughs> Sit down. Spirit. That, see? You know? See, you see that? And I even I didn't even know you had that. Uh, lined up. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Jeremiah two and thirteen. The spirit yeah. is like flowing waters, man. Like yeah, flowing waters. So yeah, whatever yeah, the spirit, yeah. whatever the spirit allows to come out is going to come out, man. Yeah, you see, and this what gives us this will this that's a Fred. This will this is a that's what Fred uh, boosts our faith that we are indeed the true men of the Lord. How about Shemesh Shaf? Uh, true, faithful, uh, austere, righteous soldiers, man. Yeah, They're fighting for the right cause, like it says in Sirach four and twenty eight. Fighting, striving for the truth and to death, because. We hate our lives here, man. You know oh, I am. You know, I have to be honest with you. This is the best. This is the this is the most I've enjoyed my life. Probably, I don't know since when. Decades. Gone. Doing this work, I actually feel like I actually have a purpose. Gone. I actually have a purpose. I wake up every day. I go. I actually have a purpose in this world. Gone. Gone. I actually have a purpose in this world. You know, whereas before it was like. I couldn't understand why. Yeah, just you're just confused. You yeah, like, what, like, just like uh, uh, like that movie with a uh, Pulp Fiction, where uh, like the last scene, where uh, John Travolta and uh, Samuel L. Jackson sitting in a in uh, little uh, uh, whatever the fuck they you know wherever they're sitting in the little uh, restaurant, and then uh, Travolta tells he asks uh, Jackson, "So what you gonna do when you get out the drug game? You just gonna?" And this is just a worldly example. But he was like, uh, "What are you gonna do? He's gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna walk the earth. You're gonna be a fucking bum." And then uh, Jackson was like, "Yeah, pretty much." And in so many words, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just to land back what you're saying with that example. So when, when, when like, when, when you in the world, man, it's like you have no sense of self. You have no, you really have no true clarity. You're kind of just like a. So you, so when you see, when we see these, 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 uh these zombies walking by the camp, it's like surreal because we were, we were once them. Yep. And so then like, you really don't even get, you don't even really even get upset like that when you see them, you just, they're just, they're just fulfilling their lot. Like, and it, and it's scary too, because it reminds me of uh, what uh, Ezekiel said in Ezekiel uh, 30, 37 and nine, I think when he said, uh, prophesy to the wind. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, it's cause like you, he's like, sometimes like, oftentimes like you're literally talking to yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? But we know that's really not true because our true I we can't if we saw our true audience, we would give up the ghost. Cause our true audience is always around. Our true audience is here right now. I, I got angels up in here right now that I can't see. As well yeah. as you. Yeah. And they and they're always around. They you know. God. They know, Psalm they know 34 and 7. They're encamped about those who fear the Lord Yahweh by Shimon Shai because fear is the beginning of wisdom. 
And that's that true divine wisdom and understanding that comes from the source between the first Samuel and the second chapter, man. And that's that gift that we have. Fear. It's, it's a gift, man. It's a spiritual gift because fear keeps keep, fear keeps us in line with the right instruction of the word. Like, okay, will you second guess borderline things that could be wicked? Like, okay, well, if I eat this, maybe I should consult with somebody about this. Uh, then you pray on it. You cast me, you cast a lot, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Or this woman, she said, you know, she's separated. Eh, that kind of shit, man. That kind of shit, you know? So, you know, so it's like, you know, the, the, the spirit, and that reminds me of uh, that, that hunch. Mm -hmm. Always go with, for us, always go with our hunch. If something don't smell right, something don't seem right, never ignore it. Because yeah. it never, you know, your, your, your instincts, you know, never, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll never uh, fail you. And really, yeah. uh, and really what that is, is the spirit, man. The spirit is, is our spiritual compass, our spiritual moral compass, man. That leads us, keeps us on that straight and narrow gate. To not suffer the 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 the, the broad things of wickedness of, of, of within a broad pass, like it says in St. Matthew 7 chapter. You know what I'm saying? It's where you know we don't have to really worry about going off like that, even though we, we know it's gonna inevitably happen in this flesh. We change the darkness, but meaning what we know that we have our grace and we're not we, we know that we're not that we know that Yahweh by Shemesh has entrusted us to defend his gospel to not uh willfully sin. Mm. That's what that's that's what grace. That's just that's the essence of grace. Not yeah. wonderfully saying like these 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 are the vast majority, man. That's why they're gonna be destroyed in a very brutal, uh, 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 agonizing manner, man. Especially those who take that karagma, man. You know, so we see people, uh, thousands of people in Germany and Sweet Switzerland, uh, Sweden, so forth, taking it the, the chip. You know, you know, you might even have family members that you may have ink that's gonna take it just by way of where they're at in their faith. But that's on them, man. We're not, especially we've already told them the truth. That's on them to take it. We're, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be first worried about ourselves, pursuing the Philippians, the second chapter, and then the body, because everything's supposed to be done in decency and order. Because because why? Because everyone's supposed to walk, everyone who's part of the hopeful leg is supposed to walk that straight and narrow gate of righteousness, man. And only one can walk it at a time. We can't be stringing people along by the hand, like coddling, coddling them like children. Them days is over, man. I remember yeah. this, uh, one of the elders from uh, uh, DTA had spoke about this one time. This was a long time ago. Not maybe not that long ago. He said, the times of brothers going to, the, to people's homes and sitting down with them with their swords and their notes and breaking everything down, that shit is over with, man. Not shit slack you. You know what I'm saying? But that, 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 them days is over with, man. Yeah. We have midnight right now. It's like, obviously, yeah. these people are looking to have attention and stuff like that and, and all that stuff. And you, you get, you'll get these people coming out of the blue. You know, from years before. Oh, I just wonder how you're doing. Like, why? Why? God. You know why? What the fuck you? What you need to worry? You need to worry about the shit that's coming to your ass, man. That's what you need to. You know, and you know you can think of a whole lot of people from your past like that. Like, why you send an email to them and, and tell them about this shoot and all that stuff? It's like, nah, man, they were piece of shit. Then they 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 saw this. They 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 were not man. They if the law wants them, they'll go. They they these will go. And browse through YouTube, the internet, and all the other stuff like that. If you were meant to have this, you would, the Lord would somehow have you click on something and you would come to it. Uh, same, the same way how I, I, I clicked on IUIC. Oh, I'm a, oh, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Uh, oh, wow, that makes sense. And while, you know, we get in that case like that, they usually are the entrance point for a lot of Jakes who come and who get to this point to the level where we are right now. You know the Sakara and them like that, so they are serving their purpose. You know, to 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 you know how the Lord is sifting, sifting, the sifting, sifting uh, the the the, the tribe. You know, go through them, learn that you. Oh, okay. Then you go, you look at, you go, you go, you keep seeking the Lord until you get up to great millstone, where you actually know the name. Okay, and you hear the scripture in its in its, in its, in its pure form. Okay. So uh, this um the uh because I need to have you share this file um so I could um edit it and combine those like right. that. So we'll probably I don't know how big this file is right now, but I know we've been we've been doing it for like an hour and a half. So we'll uh, see how this how to tumble like that and we'll look into those other stream stream ones like that. So that at least next time we'll get directly uploaded up there and we can now move like that. We'll okay. Try and get get this up like that. So um let's close out. Let's give all glory and honor to yeah, Yahweh. Double honor says, teaches others and the false of great most soon also to you brothers out there putting on this truth. Faithfully, fairly, see, feed the sheep, and to you brothers and sisters tuning in.
Shalom. Great. 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 Soon. Very soon. Okay, you can break the screen. Con. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on open recording. I'm gonna click yeah. on open recording. And uh there should be a way to share that, right? Yeah, yeah. I I think uh it says processing it might take a few minutes. You can close it. Okay. So um yeah, it, it should be relatively easy to send to you. I'm just gonna wait for it to process and then okay. um I'm gonna go to the main, the main computer. Okay. And then down I'm gonna go to the main computer and then download the other one from my account like that and then prep of, and then wait for you on this one. Okay. And then, um then um then I can then get them together like that. Okay. Uh, to get it together like that. So okay. uh I'll communicate to you uh through Akium. Okay. Fine. Okay. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.